Stable your horses without tying them down. Don't ever let your horses wander off again. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at c a c h e f l y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host Chad Johnson. This is the Minecraft show that'll teach you how to become an expert in no time. You know, horses really are the best way to travel in the game. They move fast. Hills are not an issue. And you don't need to lay down infrastructure like rails or redstone to travel from place to place. But once you get off a horse, they have a mind of their own, wandering all over the place. Sure, you can tether them to a post, but you need to have an inventory slot filled with a lead. And when you disconnect the horse off of the post, it flies off somewhere. It's just a really, really big hassle. So today, I have four easy and quick tips for tying down your horse without letting them. Wander away without using a lead. So here we are on my single-player server, and、uh, this is my horse. And right now he's attached to this post. You can't see, but if he tries to move away, he he can't. If I go ahead and get on him, you can see what I'm talking about. Where sometimes you try to run off, but you just can't because the lead stays on him. You have to walk up to the post, make sure you hit it just right, and then the lead flies off somewhere. This is just a really big hassle. So here are the simple ways that you can keep your horse from moving around. First, is this very simple stable plan. All you have to do is send your horse into it, get off the horse. Whoop! Well, you got to make sure he stays in there. Normally, he doesn't.、Uh, he doesn't launch himself out of it. We can do that one more time. Get in, get out, and he stays inside, and he won't. Leave this area. This uses these half slabs here, so that the horse doesn't think that he can leave this area.、Uh, all it is is、uh, two normal blocks, so a block here, a block here, with half slabs on top and some half slabs in the front. And there you go, voila! You have a stable that your horse will not leave. The other nice thing about this scenario is you don't take damage when you enter or leave this stable. Now this is very simple and plain, but sometimes you need something a little bit more complex. So we have over here. This is what I like to call、uh, "Ring Around the Rosy."、Uh, just like all other animals in Minecraft,、uh, your horse will enter a minecart and he won't be able to leave. So you could just leave him,、uh, leave him the minecart, and he's not going to go anywhere. And、uh, when you want、uh, to get back on your horse, you walk up to him, right-click him just like normal, and. Then, well,、uh, no, I'm just kidding. You get on, and then you look down, and then attack the 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 minecart, and it disappears. Now it's in your inventory. You can take it and place it back onto the rail and wander off.、Uh, if you don't want to make it so silly and、uh, roundabout, you can just use two rails here, and he will step in just the same. Uh, but it's just not nearly as cool as、uh, the the cool roundabout way to do it. Next is probably the simplest, which is just fences. This can be either cobblestone fences, or the wooden fences, or nether rack fences. Any fence. Many horses can jump at least one and a half blocks. So as long as your horse can jump into one of these fenced areas, you、uh, can place him in here and then get off. Here is the only downside: is once you set him in, you have to be able to leave. Now you can use a technique of making sure you aim for the corner, get off, and then you'll land on top of the fence, and you can easily step out. When you want to get back on your horse, just reach in over the fence, and you'll automatically be launched on top of your horse. So a nice, easy, and inexpensive way, especially if you are early on in the game. Now this is our last and my favorite way to make sure your horse doesn't move without using leads. You go ahead and just step onto this green pad, step off of the horse, and he will not move. This doesn't have anything to do with、uh, horses not being able to move on carpet or anything like that. But、I'm, I just kind of want to wait just a little bit longer just to show he's he's not going to go anywhere. What's going on here? Well, the magic behind this is signs. If we go to this little maintenance area and go underneath, all of this carpet is being supported by signs with carpet on top. This is another AI trick, just like the half slabs before. 
where the horse's uh, artificial intelligence doesn't understand that it can move from this spot. Because there's four blocks below it, it thinks that it is sort of in a falling state or in a state where if it walks in any direction, it will be falling off a cliff, which obviously isn't the case. The carpet is, is stopping him from doing that, but this is very, very easy to do. Now, you can still push him around, so sometimes, just like with the, uh, with the stable over here, if you accidentally push him out, he will be able to wander on his own and leave this area. But as long as he is over inside in the middle, and that's why I put this fence, it's not required, but you can run him right up to the fence and step off, and then your horse will not move. You can now throw all of those nasty leads into lava. You don't have to use them anymore. One final bit of trivia is that horses are the only friendly mob that naturally regenerates health over time. So if you accidentally hurt them and you come back to them a little bit later, they'll have more health, which is kind of nice. If you have any more tips that you'd like to send our way, feel free to send us some feedback or some email at mail at omgcraft.com. If you'd like to follow my personal channel, head on over to youtube.com slash omgchad and to subscribe to this show, that's twit.tv slash omgcraft. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.